जय सत गुरु देव गुड इवनिंग गुड आफ्टरनून एंड गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस ऑनलाइन सेशन ऑफ स्केचिंग बाय मनीषा सरकार बींग ऑर्गेनाइज बाय विहंगम योगा सिंगापुर इन दिस सेशन दिस इज द सेकेंड सेशन विथ मनीषा जी वेयर वी आर एक्सप्लोरिंग द स्केचिंग विथ हर and it's it's organized by vihangam yoga singapore my name is sandhya and i'm your host for today session and i have been associated with vihangam yoga from last 3 years and i must thank vihangam yoga singapore for giving me this opportunity to host this amazing session today on on behalf of vihangam yoga singapore team i would like to extend our thanks to the regular attendees of the session and all the newcomers and our team members and their family to grace this occasion uh, further for those who are not aware of vihangam yoga please allow me to give a quick introduction vihangam yoga organization is an ngo a pioneer in yoga and advanced meditation training uplifting the human life in all aspects this was established by in year 1924 by his holiness sadguru sadafal dev ji maharaj who discovered this wonderful meditation technique after 17 years of meditation practice tough meditation practice today under the guidance of present Sad, sadguru his holiness shri satantra dev ji maharaj vihangam yoga has reached around 45 countries and has transformed life of more than 5 million disciples of vihangam yoga or our international headquarters is situated on the bank of holy river called ganga in allahabad among global pandemic pandemic vihangam yoga singapore team has started daily online session of breathing exercises pranayam and vihangam meditation as well as online introduction sessions conducted every month okay let's go over the agenda of today's session it will take about 1 hour to complete we will we will be we will be doing a sketching with manisha sarkar ji who is going to teach us the technique of sketching and after that we can have a question answer segment if any about the sketching after the presentation there will be vote of thanks by dipali sharaf ji followed by a closing prayer by dilip singh ji from oman this is all about today's agenda so i can in, uh, i would like to invite dipali sharaf ji from bahrain for the swagat gaan and mangal gaan dipali ji jai satguru dev thank you so much i request each one of you to please kindly close your eyes and let's seek the blessings from the highest authority let's begin swagat gaan aaj swagat nete guru var संत शुभागम आइए आज स्वागत नित्य गुरु संत शुभागम आइए अध्यात्म विद्या देव ज्योति सोम रस बरसाइए आज स्वागत नित गुरुवर संत शुभागम आइए दोष दुर्गुण दूर करिए शुद्ध हंस बनाइए आज स्वागत नित गुरुवर संत शुभागम आइए भेद गम गति ज्ञान दर्जन शक्ति द्वार हटाइए आज स्वागत नित गुरुवर संत शुभागम आइए खुले द्वारा शब्द सागर भक्त जन अनवाइए आज स्वागत नित्य गुरुवर संत शुभागम आइए 
जन सदा फल वेश्व शिक्षक शान आन बचाइए आज स्वागत नित्य गुरुवर संत शुभागम आइए 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 जय सतगुरुदेव मंगल कांत विश्व शांति नाम मंगल परम गुरु को ध्याए विश्व शांति नाम मंगल परम गुरु को ध्याए वर्ग द्वंद अशांति दूर कर भाव भेद मिटाइए सार्वभौम समाष्टि सत्ता ध्यात्म राज्य बनाइए वेश भाषा भाव जग में ज्ञान पर दर्शाइए समृद्धि सुख शांति धरातल स्वर्ग भूमि बनाइए विश्व शिक्षक जन सदा फल नीति स्वर अपनाइए विश्व शांति नाम मंगल परम गुरु को ध्याए 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 जय सतगुरु देव ओवर टू यू Uh, it was a small prayer for the world peace and prosperity in the holy feet of master and get the blessing for the session uh, those who have joined us we welcome you and extend our thanks for joining the sessions uh, and we have just started and finish our welcome song and song for the peace and prosperity now we are going to have a painting workshop by my my sarkar and before that uh, before we start i am going to give a small introduction about her we had her on the last occasion for the sketching and uh, she is a very internationally acclaimed artist and dedicated social worker for 20 years and she has been serving the communities and with her with her painting and uh, painting and sketching and she has been part of uh, uh, project of art therapy for the seniors and adult under active agri committee of people association and several volunteer projects uh, she, she serves ntsc LHUB as associate trainer and the AAC Art Club as a curator, come art director, and and she has an artist in residence. Manisha Ji has conducted art workshop, art competitions for the young and adult at the mayor mayor neighborhood. I think this uh, this I missed last time, Manisha Ji. So like uh, uh, and for uh, and she has done she has done intensive research experiences on the regional rural banking sector of India. she has masters in economics and post graduate degree in education she has a few art exhibitions in singapore of various prestigious platform like esplanade and national national esplanade at national day cifas uh, festival event and she has been curated a few art exhibitions for cifas sangamam and mountbatten asc art club she has uh, involved in lot of community project and the she has done the first online art exhibitions at mountbatten asc art club has been well organized under the leadership of manisha sarkar ji and she has been recognized by cifas and artist and she has been awarded at a several kala bhavam and she was semi finalist for sony iwa women of the year award and ranked 7th in the final competition 2015 at singapore so uh, uh, we'll have manisha sarkar ji where is manisha ji yeah she's here welcome anisha ji welcome thank you Once thank again. you sandha ji thank you for your introduction and thank you vihango yoga for giving me an opportunity to reach out to everyone through painting and art uh, today i would like to thank all the participant here who have assembled on this friday evening yes thank you and warm welcome to you all to my manisha's art world 
as we are, Sandhaji has said, so today I'm going to talk about a painting. So last Friday, I, I was having the same workshop, but it was on black and white pencil. So today I thought we let us discuss about the color pencil. When we want to shade with a color, how it comes, how it looks. So whenever we do start our composition, we must think of my paper size. That is the very first basic, uh, basic of any painting, any sketching. We should be using my space properly. Uh, everyone, can you all able to hear me? Yes. Before I, okay, thank you, thank you. So suppose if I have a space, uh, my blank space and what I'm going to compose. So if it is a one thing, small thing, then maybe I will choose an area. If too many things I'm going to put, so I, I need to think whether my painting is getting too much crowded or not, or whether I'm drawing a long object or short object. Based on that, we decide how to draw, how to start drawing and where to draw. Okay, so to start that, suppose, we all know that flute, the Mansuri, Krishnaji's Mansuri, we know how nicely he used to do the Mansuri Vadan. And whenever we see a flute, it's a very simple thing. But when we want to draw it, are you able to see that? It is uh, behind, that is a flute, okay? So we cannot do this at one go, right? So this one, if you want to draw this, I did it a bigger way with a little bit of a pastel. So if you have a crayon or pastel, uh, oil pastels, then you may get this vibrant color. And if you are having color pencil, then maybe you can get this color. So what are the colors and how we can take it? For that, I'm going coming step by step. So in order to do that, so today, since our main discussion will be on the how to draw color and shade this thing. Before that, I want to tell you one thing, very, very important. If you are using color pencil, keep in mind that the color will be lighter. If you are using crayon or oil pastel, then the colors are more brighter, more vibrant because the nature of color pencil is it gives soft tone. Okay, and just like that, let me show you. I just last week, I was doing uh, apple. So this is, an, these are apples, is done with a pastel. So these colors are red, bright, shiny. So this apple I did, I did another apple that is also, yeah, this also apple, very colorful, right? Bright color because the background, and it comes out because the background background I chose is a dark color, dark background. But same apple, when I did with the color pencil, it doesn't came out so, so brighter. You see, this, this apple has been drawn with a pencil, color pencil. So it is a lighter pinkish color. The next to this, another apple, this has been drawn with a pastels, oil pastel. So this color is, you can see, I could get this dark red and shine and all those things. So it is more shiny also, but the color pencil, it is softer in color. So that thing we need to keep in mind. Okay, the same thing we can use drawing with a watercolor also or acrylic or whatever. So when we use color pencil, so we need to be, a, this lemon is also done by color pencil, this, this orange, right? Are you able to make out it is an orange? So these are in color pencils. So the color tone is softer, lighter. But when it goes in the oil pastel or crayon or you have poster color, then maybe you can get the brighter color. So then when how you shade and then you see so many objects. So I arrange in a way, small, big, that way. So those things are the advanced one. I'm not going to talk too much on those, the composition and all. So since we are doing the flute, so I'm just going to tell you the how we are placing one thing. Yeah, suppose that this is only one onion. This is one onion. Behind is drawn with a color pencil, uh, the, the net of onion sack. 
so that is a background it is at the behind right so my flute it is a very long one right the flute is a long one we are not drawing anything else this is also a long one so what we can do we can do is we can do i can show you suppose this is my paper so draw horizontally so that you have the space you can go along with me so that you can have the space to draw horizontally don't do small then it will be very short so when take a ruler first just only take one line draw one straight line long line so because of the demonstration i am showing a dark pencil but you take a light pencil light black pencil and just draw just draw one so this is your first how you start only one single line after you finish drawing the second line first line then draw the second line parallelly so because flute the basuri is a thin one thin object but it's it should not be very thick so like that so it should be parallel can you all see that so number 1 number 2 two, two lines once you have drawn your line then you can adjust you can this side you draw this side also you draw little little blunt and then this is another so this is your first step of drawing flute drawing flute is it visible to you all first number 1 number 2 then this side is the end part then this is the beginning so then we can draw another part this is the inside of the flute can we see inside of the flute do that then i am coming to my screen again okay so once you are able to see once you finish drawing this one once you finish drawing two lines and you join uh, closed both the end then you can do the third step this one then you can do this first you do that so that means whole thing then you think where you are going to put this mark this mark one and two then actually i have uh, pasted it a wrong way let me now the most important thing for you all i did it uh, initially i have pasted it upside down you see the flute 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 the holes are here some flutes may be having more space, more holes so these are the longer and the design and all we see the flute having too many so that the wind comes and out huh, goes so we need to place it properly if you are following me you can see on my paper how it is showing uh, do you think uh, can you do you think we need to share screen or this is enough subhash ji subhash ji yeah. do we need to share screen of the flute for drawing purpose or this much visibility is enough this is okay but we just want to share what you are going to draw you know so uh, okay. we want to focus on your drawing Okay. Yeah. And, okay. So yeah. So once we have done this, so you when you drawing, so you just think of doing this where we are going to place it. So for that purpose, let me show you. So 
So what I, this is not a flute. This is my brush, a brush handle, but it's a rounded one. So the flute is also like that. It's a bamboo one. So as I am showing this, so as an artist, I can see that the, it's a bamboo light color. But when is a color is coming appear to us, it's yellowish color, right? Yellowish kind because here the light is falling, but it's looking as a uh, whitish. But it doesn't look the everywhere white. Somewhere is a darker yellow, some maybe yellowish or whitish. So to in order to achieve that in the brush, so uh, while doing coloring, so I would suggest everyone, although there is an yellow color brush, uh, yellow color flu uh, flute, it is not only yellow color. There are some variations of colors. Okay, there are some yellow, ha I have yellow, I used yellow, I used orange, I used a yellow color, then some brown, some brown also, there are some brown also, then red and all are dead. So for that, maybe I can show you my pencils. These are, I kept some. So normally, while pencil shading for the beginners, I'm not talking about the advanced, advanced or something. Normally pencil shading, we start, there are several techniques. There is some called varnishing, some called layering, then hatching uh, or uh, there are many. So let's focus on the layering. So I have drawn a little bit for you to see and for me to also demonstrate while doing. So this is my whole, whole paper, whole flute. This much I have drawn already. I have, so that you understand what I want to achieve and what I'm talking about. So my, the top area, this top area, yeah, these are the pencils. This is a two, two pencil of each color I kept. So don't think that I'm using so many pencils. Suppose I have red, two shade and all yellow. So this top area I have done this, you see very lightly, draw yellow color very, very lightly. So what is the main color pencil drawing is, if we draw the lines, normally it is very difficult to blend. When children mm -hmm. do this session, this session is mainly focusing on the children activities planned as a kid's activity. Mm -hmm. So normally when it is not only for kids, for adults also, normally we all struggle while drawing part is okay. We manage after using ruler and all measurement rubbing. So while shading, we see there is a white line, so lines are not getting blended. So in, or, in order to overcome that problem, I would suggest start very lightly, hold pencil little, little further so that it will give and try to place, this is the pencil's uh, lid, right? So this mm -hmm. area maximum should be touching on the, on the paper, paper surface. You see then, as you are doing this way, not like that, not like that, not like knife, do that way. So when we do that, whatever I do, my marks will be, my strokes will be lighter. It cannot be, we, even if I want, it cannot be very hard. So then why I want to be lighter, this gives me the liberty to go over it, to go over it. And if I make mistake to do correction and for the proper better blending main purpose is blending mistake is not should be not should not be my first focus so these are the pencil marks are you able to see those uh this circle circular only the black line all the holes are circled so yes. only four has been drawn four has been drawn rest remaining i have to do so you can the lightest color and when we do color pencil shading this one i must mention this is the tip always start with the lightest color. Okay. Whatever you are doing, don't go at, at one go with the red color or dark color, then you cannot blend. So start with the lightest color and wherever you think that light color will be, you try to do. Suppose this my uh, pencil, not I have been drawn on my example, light color is on top, right? And dark color, reddish tone is on the down below bottom light color is on top dark, darkest color is in the bottom you all yes. can see right yes. Yes, yes so now the holes in the hole also the same thing i can yes. see the see through the hole because little bit bamboo part is been showing there also two 
variation. So in order to achieve that, maybe let me do one in front of you all. Uh, the down dark is shadow or what? The water down dark color. The is shadow of the bamboo. Yeah, shadow oh, and of the light reflection. Because okay, of the okay. light reflection, then it gives the optical illusion of getting yeah. us a three D that is okay. rounded the volume. Okay. Yeah. So, so this is also this is a there is a broken line that means this mm. is the bend part. So this one. So this is I will be doing. So when I'm doing inside, so my pencil is I'm holding. You see how I'm holding because I need to do the thick line and the final lines. So I'm holding pencil like that. So that means inside I'm doing same. It's inside. Inside. So these are the. So, so then. So this is. So this is, you see, I did orange. So can you see the difference? There is an orange, there is a brown, mm -hmm. right? Yes, two mm -hmm. colors are there. So this whole. So this will be, once it is completed, it will give the impression that I'm going to see through the bamboo, the flute inside part inside, of this, inside, inside yeah. of that. Inside of that is visible. So this area, since it is a little bit area, I have to define it carefully because of that shape. So my, I'm holding my pencil, I'm holding also that way so that I have the more control over my stroke. Okay. So once I'm done, so that means these six, all my, this area is done. So now this part, so this body part, there, let me come back with my yellow again. That means the brush has the yellow color. The wooden color is everywhere. Mm. Yeah, the wooden color. So this color is everywhere. So in order to achieve that wooden color, I'm using lightly the yellow color, light yellow, light yellow. So then there should be the some shade, some other dark color. Yeah. So when then after doing that, I'm taking orange color. Yellow I have done already. Then slowly I take orange color, little lightly, very lightly. Now also I'm lighting very lightly. I'm holding my pencil and then I'm coming to tear towards down also. Maybe I'll do this much. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I am not giving my own pressure. My hand pressure is very light. I'm holding pencil from down and I'm trying to reach the, this area of my lead, use this area. Mm. And as I go, this is called layering. This method is called layering. As I go, as I do keep do doing, then slowly I will increase my volume. I will increase my pressure. So mm. I have applied a little bit of orange color also. Now maybe I'll be taking little darker tone. So my red color is like the bottom, bottom area. So I'm doing again. You all can see my paper, yeah, right? Okay. Yes, Thank yes, you. Yes. Thank you. So slowly, slowly, and I'm, you cannot be very, very sharp any place. If it is mm. too sharp, it will be too obvious. So once it is coming for blending, so while I'm going this, I'm going over again. So that it is getting blended. So that there's a slight soft tone will be. I just come back a, two hours ago, I had another workshop that was on the craft for the seniors and all the bid, bid work and activity. Bid so work. from, yes. So from there, so I did not have time to sharpen my pencil and all, but so I have done this much. And then again, I want to do, because it's in case there is some, there is some spaces 
there, gap is there. So I'm again taking my same yellow color pencil. Same yellow, I'm coming over. So just to fill the gap, we have to take the base colors, right? What yellow is your base color, basically? Yellow, right? yeah, lightest color. Always lightest. we should start with the lightest color, and uh -huh. then we will do the then middle color, whatever. Slowly, slowly, I need to see them. Either we see an object, mm. either we see an object and draw, or mm. if I have a reference picture, then we see and draw. So mm. for demonstration purpose, my reference picture is this flute. Oh, sorry. Yes. We have to move yeah. other side, yeah. Oh, can't see. Yes. Can you see? Yeah. So my reference picture is this flute. Huh. Yeah. So this flute color tone is yellowish upper level and reddish, reddish. Dark, yeah, darker mm. level. And those are the okay design, decorative part. And these are the so this so this is with us. Uh, Done with a pastel. I said oil pastel. Yeah, pastel so yeah. this is pencil, pencil tone. This one uh, is it visible to you all? Yes, can see, but we can't see the full flute. Uh, you have to move to the other side. Yeah. Yeah, now we can see. Yes. yes. So this is the pencil one. So okay. if it's pencil and my paper is smaller, drawing is smaller, and the pencil one. So pencil, this is lighter color, lighter orange, same red. But here it appears little right orange, then dark red. So then here again shades dark, light dark, light dark. These inside holes, right? And then when we'll do this, it will be that yellow and red. And it okay. is. Can you see that this is a thread sort of thing? Yeah. It is thread, time decorative, thread, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So maybe Krishna ji's uh, flute, yeah, thread. something else also be yeah. then the decorative things. So, but this is the hole. So, bottom part. Mm. But actually, the bamboo is the same color. Everywhere is actually the same color. Same bamboo color. is the same color. Yes, but exactly. just because it is a, a bottom area, bottom. so there is a, it's a darkness. The, yeah. So, I have to do it the differently. Color has to be different. And the top part area is the same color, but the color is shade tone is different, lighter yeah. tone. Yes, so, yes, in order to do that, we using only pencil. So okay. my suggestion will be start with the light color pencil light. first. You can go over and do very softly. And also it's, it's, it's easy to play with the light color, but because if your base is dark, so we, yes. you can't play with the dark color after yes. that. You know? And one, yes, once the, you put dark already, you cannot erase it and bring exactly. back the light color. Yes. So that's why that mistake. In case of my mistake, I can do even maybe suppose this is a red color. Here, no yellow, but even if I put yellow, I can cover it with uh, orange or red color. I can, very easy. Or in a better, I can get the better result. But on that, this part, if I put red, no. gone. Cannot, cannot play. Yeah. Yes. So that's why first start with the light and then first start with the light and then start getting whatever. And on your way, you can again bring back your yellow. Even if you put applied uh, red, so this will, you can again bring back so the, for the getting the smoothness softer mm. tone mm. okay and then mm. orange yeah you can bring again orange you need to do many many times you need to do many many times to get that proper better tone mm. Mm. so that is the thing i think we are almost coming end to this our session mm -hmm. yeah so I, I don't go this much. So I think it is uh, now it is understood that the same technique we have to follow. Exactly. So if we, we are going to finish. So now this one, this area, you see this much area is depth is there, but this is little lighter. So mm -hmm. then once I did, I can take another pencil, maybe this pencil. This is a little same pencil shade only yellow ochre shade, green a mix of yellow ochre and green. The red I have done. So I just doing this much. So now after you finish this, you can define. You can define. I'm doing, I don't go that side. Just to define, last final defining. So this. Yeah. So now I'm, I'm just thinking that I'm going to finishing so i am increasing my pressure hand pressure so that i can get that volume and now this side it cannot be 
so so blunt also you can see this one mm. yeah this yeah. Yeah, you can see right this one yes yeah so little bit orange i'm doing I've started with yellow then again i'm doing little bit orange so that it gets an outline yeah okay. yes. outline should be always uh, and the ending right yes yes so that i because sometimes pencil mark goes here and there mm -hmm. or something i need to i need to see and do not at the beginning beginning i have drawn very lightly only with the black pencil mm -hmm. yeah so now, now, now very lightly I yeah. just want to ask one question. Yes, Mahishiti. please. Yes, please. Because when we used to do painting now, so our mm. teacher used to say that uh, whenever you do any painting, mm. you'll, you outline uh, the uh, figure with the ochre yellow, you know? Why? Okay. So she used to say that, why do uh, we used to outline the things with the ochre yellow? What I, I could not really remember now why she used to say like that. Mm, is it a... Uh... While painting. doing the pencil or oil painting oh, or acrylic? Painting, painting, the water painting. painting. Watch uh, Watercolor painting, maybe when you put color, the yellow color or light blue or light purple, it get mixed with other color. Because if we do outline with the black color pencil and while doing watercolor painting, that black line, because when you do the light, light blue sky. So if you draw an outline, maybe the sky and the water body, outline is in the black color even if you apply paint it is visible sometimes it, be, it becomes visible just to be yellow color ochre yellow golden okay. kind of yellow yeah so if you do with yellow color maybe it get mixed with the color i don't know why she used to tell yellow pencil right yellow so because paint, yellow paint paint ochre yellow ochre yellow Anyway, maybe, we can okay, read. maybe we discuss it <laughs> offline. Yeah. yeah, but yellow ochre is that it get mixed with the color, other color tone very easily. Okay. So maybe that was the reason. I don't know for why she has told you, she or he. Yeah. So maybe yeah. we can discuss offline on yeah, that. Sure. Yeah, yeah, more. Yeah. So any other question? Black mark sometimes if we do too hard, too hard, and we are using a light color like the light yellow light blue that I was telling, then black color is obvious. So we cannot erase. So even if we erase, maybe the marks is visible. So sometimes people, yeah. So sometimes, yeah, the black color, we don't try to, don't try, advice, do the black mark very lightly. Yeah. Is it, is it looks like a flute to you all? Wait, it's a flute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Beautiful then, beautiful then, yeah. Thank you. And the red beautiful. color one that I have uh, red one. Thank you so much. I just, now once I finish, because it becomes little bit uh, blunt as we adding other colors. So now I sharpening. Okay. Yeah, so you see. But you start light, start light, slowly we can do. Children sometimes tend to finish it very fast. <laughs> very fast no you need to be patient you have to overdo redo again yeah so then you depending the color yes so you can see the color once you now you mm -hmm. can do it right it is getting darker mm -hmm. so slowly slowly we do this dark shade dark tone always be careful to getting this darkest area darkest thing last so okay you'll be using so the same color is. you'll be using the same color to make the the thread and the twirls and all right red color the same red yes same red color. color same red color so same red color yeah same you see this is the same red color yeah so now if i'm defining my base yeah so same yeah, yeah, like that. So then when I'm doing so, you have to be very careful when the mark. Yeah. Hmm. So then again, you want to blend it, you can be blending. Yeah. Any other question, anyone? So I come to end of you going to be seven o'clock, I think, soon. Right, still, we have a few, 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 few more minutes. Okay. There okay. is a, there is Yodhiraj Sarkar. He is very busy in painting. Can we see your painting, Yodhiraj? How much you have done? Hmm? Who is showing? Yeah, we can. <laughs> yes, you all can show. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh, very cute. <laughs> wow, very lovely. Okay. Very good. How are you, Adiraj? Okay. Nice. Yeah, you are muted, darling. Yeah. Can you can you unmute yourself? Yes. Can we see your painting now? Unmute and show. Yeah, unmute and show. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. Cute. Yes. Very nice. Cute. Yeah, still. Slowly, slowly, you have to do. You have to finish it nicely. Yeah. Then you have to do the red color part. Okay. Thank you, yes. ma'am. Okay. Superman. Yes. <laughs> yes. Good job. Anyone else want to show their uh, sketch painting today? Anyone else? Okay. No one. Okay. So, okay. Any questions? So, okay. yeah. Any questions from anybody for Manisha ji? I think nobody okay. is there right now. Yes. Okay. No question is a good. Okay. <laughs> it means explain yeah. so well. If you explain so well, there's no questions, you know. Yes. Uh, okay. Thank you so much, Manisha ji. Uh, the thank presentation you. was very insightful, elaborate, and well explained. Thank I'm you. sure that all, all are having fun attending your session, you know. <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, yeah I can see he's uh, drawing some are drawing. I can see. Yeah, some yeah. kept there. Uh, some kept their uh, camera off. It's fine. You carry on. You have to. You slowly, slowly. You need to build your uh, yes. composition and get it the shapes correct. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. Slowly. We we, anything, we can't. Anything be going you first. can just connect to Manisha Sarkarji on uh, on yes. the very platform. You can connect with her. So now we are at the end of session. Uh, for the vote of thanks, I would like to invite uh, again Miss Dipali Sarabji from Bahrain. Thank you so much, ma'am. Jetat Gurudev. Thank you very much, Manisha Ji, ma'am. It was so graceful of you. And I think we all are uh, sync with my note that uh, it's really amazing. I'm still reminded of my childhood days that uh, how my teacher used to guide us each and every bit. You know how which pencil to be used. It should be like HB light and dark and yes. various forms of shades. And you know, painting here and this is such a type of activity which relaxes your mind to the core is you know uh, when you are struggling with so many things this is what even I do and I felt it's so lovely to have you and I'm sure our lovely audiences who have been participating for today must have been benefited and those who joined in between for them I would like to reiterate that Manisha Sarkarji um, she is an internationally acclaimed visual artist, a dedicated social worker with more than 20 years of experience serving humanity in various aspects of lives. Her most recent contribution is with her ongoing pioneer project of art therapy for seniors yeah. as well as adults under the Active Aging Committee of PA and many more to quote so. Manisha Ji's hand-drawn portrait painting of Minister Mentor Mr. LKY is being displayed in Instana since 2014. She has been a role model for all such initiatives and serving humanity in her own pleasant ways. It's like creating rainbow memories in all the sorts of age groups. And there's so much to learn from you, ma'am. And I'm really humbled to have you and I feel that uh, many of us will be benefited. So along with such activities, the Vihangam Yoga Meditation team from Singapore and around the world, they are connecting people for the Global Meditation Challenge. And I hope the month of May blesses each of us under the Sadhguru's guidance and we all remain happy. And, you know, we keep sharing lovely memories with each other. Thank you so much, ma'am. So and I would also like to thank our host for today, Sandhya Patnag ji. Uh, Ma'am, it was very nice to have you. How smoothly you so and coordinated way you have been and uh, guiding us. And uh, it's very nice to have you. Thank now you. we proceed. Uh, uh, I would like to hand over the topic to you, Sandhya Patnag ji. Over to you. 
Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dipali ji, uh, for the vote of thanks. And uh, Manisha ji, it's really, really, really uh, heartening to and pleasure to have you on this uh, Vihanga Mio. Uh, and today is our, I would like, I, I would like to say that today is 16th day of our, 16th day of our 30 days global challenge. And uh, thank you for all the support from everybody. Yes. And uh, now I would like uh, I'd like to invite Mr. Dilip Singh Ji from Oman for the Shanti part. So at, at the current situation where whole world is suffered and recovering from the pandemic, will you pray to the Sadhguru for the peace of whole world? And this, this Shanti part is done by uh, Mr. Dilip Singh Ji from Oman. Thank you, Sandhya Ji. Jai Sadhgurudev. Shanti part. हे प्रभु शांति स्वरूप हो शांति शांति मय शांति 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 जन शांति हो पूर्ण शांति मय शांति हे प्रभु शांति प्रदान कर दूर हो सर्व शांति देव सदा फल शांति मय शांति शांति सुख शांति सतगुरुदेव की जय सतगुरुदेव जी थैंक यू दिलीप जी फॉर द शांति पाठ एंड दिस इज द एंड ऑफ सेशन Thank you everyone for your participation. See you in the next session. Till then, take care, stay healthy. Bye bye. Yes, Sadhguruji. Yes, Sadhguruji. Yes. yes. Someone is showing a flu round. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Wow, beautiful. Can we take a picture? Very nice. Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. Very nice. Uh, I'll, yeah. I'll just take a picture of this. Yes. Lovely. Finish. Wow, Pranav. Pranav hai. Both of you. Wow. Wow. Thank you. I do have done it, but I did it with only pencil. I don't have color pencil. You can have a look. Wow, wow, lovely, lovely. Yes. Yeah, and I can see the spacing. Your children, they beautiful. followed very nicely. Yes, yeah, the yes. spacing is beautiful. Yeah, the holes and can all. Can you see lovely. your picture also, Dilip Ji, so I can take a photograph for of, of, for of you in a please, frame? Please, please, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely. Yes. Nice. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. This gives me motivation to continue my work and all the only work of and all. When, yeah, so otherwise it cannot be one sided. Once you see those that what the result we can achieve, that then it keeps me going too. Thank you so much. Yeah. I just want to make one correction. Today is the 13th uh, day of meditation, not the 16th day. So like, I'm sorry yeah. for that. I wish, yeah, I wish uh, everyone is, you are doing a very great job, Yanga Yoga, yes, 30 day meditation. I would, you, I wish you would reach out to more and more people and make the world more peaceful. It, it is the coming session, right? It gives the calm, yeah, calmness, bring that peace of mind. Very nice initiative. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.